Welcome back to Digital Wandering, and I'm bringing back my 2008 black MacBook running macOS 10.7.5 Lion. And as you can see from the title of the video, I'm going to show you a browser uh, that I recently stumbled upon called Chromium Legacy. And this is probably the best browser that you can use on 10.7. Uh, you know, previous uh, video uh, on this particular uh, laptop and operating system, I was discussing how the Pell Moon browser was dropping Mac support. And that was previously my favorite browser to use on 10.7. But we have Chromium Legacy. Uh, so let's just look at that here. And the using of Chromium is just like using Chrome, at least from a user perspective, it feels uh, the same. Uh, there are slight differences between uh, Google Chrome and Chromium. I, I believe that uh, Google Chrome only allows you to use uh, extensions that are found in the uh, Google Store. Also, uh, Google Chrome allows for automatic updates where Chromium does not. But other than that, it still syncs to all your Google services, so it's a very decent uh, op, uh, very decent browser to use and as you can probably hear the fans are kicking in when I'm using this screen recording software on this old laptop uh, it definitely heats up and those fans will start going crazy so uh, we're going to be dealing with that for the remaining part of this video but I just want to show you how it performs on different websites so we have Amazon here and Google, uh, Chromium Legacy, uh, the way that uh, it displays pages is just like on any modern browser that you would use. So uh, we'll just pull up a little results here uh, just to see what it looks like. What I found is that um, running the screen recording software and things, it's a little more sluggish than it is with it not running so and it also could be some of the limitations of the hardware itself this is a 2008 uh, black MacBook although it's in really decent condition it is still you know 13 years old running a operating system that was first released 10 years ago and was unsupported as seven years ago 2014 but you see everything is as you would normally expect on any modern web browser that you use now I normally use Big Sur as my main uh, operating system uh, so I'm just used to using whatever large browser and in its most recent version uh, but when I use these older uh, operating systems which I use for fun I always suggest and I probably don't say this enough is that you use an, a modern uh, operating system and a modern browser uh, but if you're like me who likes using some of these older operating systems for fun finding a web browser that is up to date and highly functional is great um, because it, it gives you the option of you doing modern browsing on a very old device and old operating system. So that was Amazon. Now we're on eBay, and eBay looks great just as well. So let's just try if we're just searching here. And it is a little sluggish with the screen recording software running. But let's just see if we can look up. The device that we're on right now, uh, 2008 MacBook, let's say black, and let's search. So although it's a little sluggish on this hardware with the screen recording software running, uh, the dis the way this uh, browser displays everything is it seems to be flawless.
One limitation of when I'm testing these browsers is that I normally do not sign into any accounts here. So uh, I won't go as far as to actually making a purchase. You know, so basically what I'm doing in testing is just uh, the web browsing capabilities, being able to navigate websites. Let's just try this one at random here. But this is Chromium Legacy is an excellent browser. Now I, I stumbled upon this by going to the Mac Rumors forum. Now I will post a link to the forum thread so that you could get uh, if you want to download this browser you'll be able to access the download link in that forum thread and you also get the benefit from all the information from the other contributors to the thread a lot of the things you have to go to web forums uh, you have to do a little searching online to find out about uh, new browser options that we reach YouTube okay so that was eBay let's close some of these tabs here I got it okay let's just go to my channel here a lot of youtubers do this so they can avoid any copyright strikes Although knowing YouTube, they can, I, I wouldn't be surprised that they uh, copyright strike people on their own uh, material, their own creative product. Okay, let's see here. All right, so this is my channel, up to 112 subscribers as of this time. Really want to thank everyone that has subscribed or watched my videos. Uh, I remember, and it doesn't seem like that long ago, I had just zero subscribers. So to have 112 is a, is a blessing. Uh, I mean, you really are hard-pressed to find anything in life where you can just have 112 people do anything. So <laughs> to have 112 people subscribe to my channel as of right now is great. Now, because of the limitations of the hardware... Oh, it probably is going to default to a low resolution video. Starting to have trouble accessing YouTube. I just want to show you something very simple that you could do to regain access. But everything looks good. My 2007 MacBook was I've shown a lot of times on this channel, and the operating system that we have here is a Mac OS 10.6.8 Snow Leopard. Okay, so there you go. So that's the experience. Uh, it looks like it is functional on Netflix. Most of the web browsers uh, that support these old operating systems are not functional on Netflix, but it looks like this may be functional on net Netflix. Now, I'm not signed into any Netflix account here. Uh, I'm basing that functionality on the fact that it can play trailers on Netflix. Uh, Netflix very recently were allowing uh, uh, people who are not signed in, who do not have an account, to watch uh, free episodes of some of their originals. It, look, it doesn't look like they're allowing any free episodes. The only thing I'm able to find here are trailers. And I don't think the trailers are copy protected. So it, this should come through on the screen recording. But this web browser is able... Let's see if we can just turn off the volume to this. This web browser is able to handle... Uh, these trailers on Netflix so that leads me to believe that it could if you signed into an account that you could actually uh, watch videos on Netflix I mean the only thing that you would have to deal with is the limitations of the hardware uh, sometimes that can cause a lot of problems we saw that a little bit with YouTube where there was some um, buffering of the videos but overall uh, video playback is really good and a lot of the buffering may be due to the screen recording it it definitely taxes the system a lot uh, when I'm playing video with the screen recording when I wasn't uh, doing anything with screen recording and I was just testing it on my own everything was playing really smoothly and there was no fan noise too so um, so definitely it's a different experience but this is Chromium, so I just wanted to show on a few major uh, websites. Let's just quit, the, quit this now. 
And again, I'll post some links in the description that you can follow and get some more information. Now, you do have other browsers on 10.7. You have Safari, but that hasn't been updated since like seven years ago. So you can use some of the methods like uh, the Watch YouTube. You can try to get it to default to mobile uh, YouTube. Uh, that will allow you to at least watch YouTube videos on Safari. But you have other more modern options where you don't have to do anything extra. You can just go to YouTube as you would do normally. Google Chrome. We just watched Chromium. We just looked at Chromium. Now, Google Chrome, the version that's uh, compatible with 10.7 uh, Lion uh, was last updated uh, in 2016. So it's very old, but it's still very capable. Uh, last I tested uh, this old version of Google Chrome, it was able to handle most websites just fine. Uh, let's just open it right now. And I just added this uh, Google Chrome to 10.7 a few days ago and and as you see it's the version that is no longer receiving updates it's the version for 10.6 10.7 10.8 uh, but it's still really capable even though this version is five years old now when you go to Google's download page for Google Chrome what will happen is you just choose the uh, option uh, for uh, Mac Intel and it will automatically download uh, the compatible version for the uh, OS that you're using so you don't actually have to go anywhere on the internet to try to search for a compatible version uh, for Chrome you can just go to their normal download pages and it will give you uh, that version that you need uh, that's great because a lot of times when you try to download a browser from the main page it will only provide the most recent version of the browser but Google will actually give you uh, the most recent version that's compatible with the OS that you're using. That's great here. And let's just let's just try to see what YouTube looks like on uh, Google Chrome here. Because it's still compatible with YouTube. YouTube is like a good one test website here. I mean, I have um, a lot of major uh, web websites that I use for testing. But if I'm going to just use one web uh, website for testing, I normally would just use YouTube just to see what that's like. Uh, now, it is still loading. And again, this is the 2016 version of Google Chrome here still loading again things are really slow here with the screen recording much slower than normal I'm gonna also just check Amazon real quick to see what that looks like too so you can see the difference that you're getting here on it's still loading man it is so slow uh, so you see what the difference that you're getting from chromium legacy and using the last compatible version of google chrome although it's five years old it still handles websites pretty well uh, it's pulled up uh, amazon and this amazon version of amazon um, that we have here is just like what you would see on any modern browser from what i can see here very good. Uh, let's just pull up eBay real quick. Okay, eBay looks also good. Again, this is a five year old browser, still loading. Uh, but still looks really good still seems to be fair very functional it's gonna close Amazon let's close eBay let's just see what YouTube is doing right now see what it looks like okay it finally loaded but it, it's and it's being really sluggish because of the screen recording but here we go uh, it's still functional on this old um, web browser
So it's one of the better ones if you're going to be using this. Again, you probably don't want to use 10.7 as your everyday, but if you are using 10.7 as your everyday, uh, you have the old version of Google Chrome. You may want to try Arctic Fox. We won't look at Firefox, the 2016 version today. I think I've shown that previously, but Arctic Fox, which I've shown previously, last updated in 2020, is probably as good as an option uh, as uh, as far as usability as the 2016 version of Chrome, but it is it has been updated a lot sooner. Uh, and also Pell Moon, which is, you know, again, uh, Mac support has been dropped, but this version that I have here is was updated as recently as 2021. But the new king of the hill right now it seems to be Chromium Legacy. Uh, that's the one I would suggest if you're on 10.7, 10.8, 10.9. Uh, it seems to be very functional. It seems to be also very uh, updated uh, on a regular basis. So uh, that's also good, at least in this at this stage. So hopefully that will continue. Uh, again, it doesn't support uh, automatic updates, so you have to do manual updates, which can be a bit of a pain. But for the usability that you gain from uh, Chromium Legacy, I think it's worth it. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you uh, this to you guys here. Uh, thank you for watching. This is Digital Wandering signing off.